Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Book Minute. This week we have a ton of comics. Uh, this is like one of the biggest weeks we've had in a while, so we're going to try and move fast and get through them. Um, first of all, uh, we're on issue four of Dark Knights of Steel. Maybe one of the best things Tom Taylor is writing, uh, me medieval re-envisioning of the DC Universe. Uh, we're pointing out number four because they are next week or the week after, I cannot recall, they're releasing an issue that collects the first three issues in case you missed out on them. So you could still hop on, but I'd pick up number four if you were planning on doing that. Uh, Victor LaVale writing Sabretooth, number one. It's a new Sabretooth book. Definitely looks awesome. I've read it. It's pretty sweet. Um, one thing I am incredibly excited for this week, uh, excellent, the uh, long, long-awaited follow-up to Ecstatics. If you know what that was, you know why you want to read this. Um, but if you see a Mike Howard cover and it appeals to you, believe me, this book is definitely great. Um, Noctera, finally back after a long break. Good point to jump on. Uh, if you haven't been reading it, the first trade uh, paperback, first graphic novel, uh, leaves off right before this starts. Um, we have signed copies of that trade paperback, so if you want to hop on, you can pick one of those up. I think they're pretty cheap, too, because they're usually Image keeps the first volume of any trade. Pretty inexpensive. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite comics of the last two years, honestly, and it's, uh, you know, uh, Tony Daniel and Scott Snyder is hard to go wrong. Um, and then we have... Star Wars, set in the universe of the uh, High Republic, Halcyon Legacy. Um, this is a Wookiee with a lightsaber. Yeah, what more do you need? Yeah, that doesn't do anything for you. Uh, this book's not for you. Um, and then, I think this is cool. I don't know. This is this is maybe more situational than Wookiee with lightsaber. But um, this is a timeline of all the image releases that have ever happened. It is a uh, glance through the ages at every image comic and uh, their creators and uh, you know, Image has cool. kind of changed the face of comics. I think stuff like this is incredibly neat. Um, I would buy this. I will buy this, probably, uh, if we have any left after tomorrow. Um, and that's all the books I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking forward to some of these books, too, but, you know, it would be weird if we talked about the same books multiple times. So, mm -hmm. who's next? All right. Books I'm excited to read. Starting off with a limited series, new number one from DC, Monkey Prince. Um, so this is from the writer of American Born Chinese, and it is a retelling of uh, Journey to the West. So looking forward to that. Um, also, Happy Chinese New Year. You're the tiger. Really? Happy. Yeah. Lun Lunar New Year today. Today? Today. Do you think they plan that with the release of Monkey? All right. American Born Chinese is a great book and a great comic adaptation. Yes. And we have two copies on our kids' shelf. Which, you know, it's for all, all ages. ages. Yeah. 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 Uh, Manor Black by Colin Bunn. So this is a uh, gothic horror series about a family of sorcerers. I'm actually looking forward to getting into this one. It's a new number one from Dark Horse. A gothic horror story by Colin Bunn. You don't uh, say. Yeah, I. that is what I said. Next, Daredevil Woman Without Fear. You hear that, woman? So Electra has taken up the mantle uh, as Daredevil. So I have been enjoying this one. We, I believe, we still have some number ones yeah. on the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, this is issue two. In. So pick this up, and you know if you're gonna get snowed in, get snowed in with comics. So definitely come True. pick these up. There's a ton of really to good stuff. Oh, yes. oh, and um, finally, this new number one. Super excited about this new Masters. So this is a science fiction story taking place in West Africa. Aliens have come to colonize West Africa and a group of ragtag group of um, misfits are trying to protect an ancient um, item that has great power. So I'm super excited about this series. Um, and yeah. The art looks great. Yeah, the art does look great. What about you, Nick? Uh, let's see here. Started off with the 80-page giant. I was going to call it the 80-pound giant, but it's 80-page giant of Geiger. Um, if you were enjoying Geiger, then here's a little bit more. So this expands the universe of, of Geiger. I'm just going to see how many times I can say Geiger by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Uh, this also does have a little preview of their next uh, book as well. So get a sneak peek at that read this. I don't know how many pages out of the 80 that is, but it's a lot of pages. 
Then we have a new one by AWA Studios, uh, Primos. Uh, this is a, it's gonna be a four-parter. So in this, um, some Mayan, uh, ancient Mayan civilization, uh, two brothers, I guess, construct a spaceship and go out into outer space. And then they come back and find their civilization destroyed and they have to try to, uh, make, make sense of all that has changed since they've been gone. That sounds awesome. So, yeah, yeah. So, AWA has been just, like, knocking it out of the park. Like yeah, that. some really good stuff. So, so that's cool. Uh, then over with Marvel, we got Savage Spider-Man. Um, this is sort of continues off of Nonstop Spider-Man. So if you've been enjoying that, which I think has been really, really good, there are, there are many Spider-Man books, many Spider Family books, but um, Nonstop one is, is one of my favorites for sure. And so I'm looking forward to this. He is looking uh, very uh, savage as it, as he's looking very spiderly in this. So looking forward to that. The art in this is great. Then, actually, more more spider people stuff. We've got Silk. Silk number one. Silk is back. Um, I also really enjoyed the first run on Silk yeah, that, that ended good. a little while ago. Uh, this is a new author on this. So this is Emily Kim now. Um, it might... I, I didn't check. The art looks similar. So they might have... It might still be the same people doing pencils. I don't remember. But anyway... More Silk. Uh, we've got the first uh, run in trade, but uh, this is a new starting point. So get this if, if you're looking for some more Spider People stuff. Then if you would like Chainsaws instead or Demon Hunting, Chainsaw Man, Volume 9. Uh, this is just an over-the-top action-packed series. Uh, this guy has a chainsaw for a face and arms, and he hunts demons, and he also has a demon dog. It's like a little dog with a chainsaw for a face as well so you know there's that and then we also have this very large uh milestone compendium one um so this thing is a i don't know how many page giant but if you like the milestone comics of the 90s icon static all that good stuff uh this is now a nice new soft cover collection for 60 bucks that's a steal that's that's a lot of that's comic. A, that's it's a, a ton of comics. And then we got another big. The only book thing that's more Heavy comic uh, is this complete Invisibles omnibus. Um, if you can lift it, it is a ton of one of the best comics ever written. Uh, yeah, it is the the thing that uh, you know made me fall in love with Grant Morrison's writing. Uh, it's a tremendous, tremendous book. Uh, and can do chest presses with it if uh, you don't like reading. I don't know. That's right. Um, You're not going to fall asleep reading this one because no. you, or will you will break or your you nose. Will, yeah, you will, yeah, you will be hurt um, mm -hmm. uh, depending on whether or not you would read prone. Uh, um, there were a ton of other books that came out this week. Yes. This is, this is like, uh, this is... Yeah, you definitely want to make it in to see the table. It's packed full um, and get here before the snow so that when you have plenty of reading material. The tomorrow... And but Thursday mainly. So Thursday, tomorrow yeah, it's yeah. rainy. Yeah. Tomorrow's supposed to be rainy. So Thursday's fine. supposed to be snow. Great. So tomorrow, get get your books. Put your rain boots on ready. and let's do this. Yeah. That's right. So I have often so Nick and Sean for my years. Yeah. yeah. That's right. All right. Well, remember this forty degree day that we had together. And let us know what you're looking forward to reading in the comments. Thanks. <laughs>